he had all kinds of tubes on him and I couldn't carry him. And he had like a breathing tube down his mouth. A Caldwell woman and her baby are back home after baby Micah was born with a rare heart condition, a condition the Center for Disease Control and Prevention says about 1600 babies in the U.S. are born with each year. Today I spoke with the mom about how her newborn is doing after having open heart surgery in California. Last month, Yesenia Rango gave birth to her third child, baby Micah. What should have been a joyous moment quickly turned to one of concern. Yeah, I was like really scared and sad. Baby Micah was born with a rare heart condition. My son was born with a heart defect called um, Tritology of Flow. Um, we didn't find out that he had a defect until he was 24 hours old. There's four different things wrong with your heart. He had like a hole in his heart and his arteries were facing the wrong way and he had to get a pulmonary artery replaced with a cadaver piece. Yeah, so he'll need future surgeries to replace that. She gave birth at St. Alphonsus, then moved to St. Luke's where a cardiologist assessed Micah. After that, they flew to California to the Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford. That was scary, they put us on a plane and then we arrived there and I had to get my family flown over there too that same night. It was just really scary. I was somewhere new and I've never been there. I didn't know where we were gonna stay. It was like really stressful. They were in California for a month. My God's mommy. She says the surgery took eight hours. And I just was scared he wasn't gonna make it. But like he might not wake up from surgery. No, even beforehand, like up until surgery, I was just scared. I'm like, what if my baby doesn't make it through surgery? It was like the days up until I was trying to enjoy it just in case he didn't come back out of surgery. Thankfully, he did. Today, baby Micah is doing well. Other than his visible scars, his mom says you wouldn't know he had surgery. He's been recovering well, well like within a week after surgery. They were taking all, all the tubes out. He didn't have any more tubes within that first week. And I mean, since he's been home, he's been doing really good. Yesenia has Medicaid and says she's hopeful that they that will cover the surgery and expenses, but she's not sure yet. And they started to go fund me in the meantime to pay for their living and travel expenses. Since she says Micah's dad wasn't able to work while they were in California for that month. And we'll have a link to that GoFundMe at KTVB.com. In the meantime, though, she says she's grateful to St. Luke's for sending them to California. And she's also grateful to the Ronald McDonald House because that's where they stayed.